So the Roland Merrick Handicap Chase is next. This is on Boxing Day, this race. I don't know what's happened to the uh, King George. That must be next week. Oh, a mix-up in the, or a mix-up or a split in the wigs anyway. It's a 3 mile one four and 0 to 10 this one. And Alive and Kicking is at the top for Martin Liedham. Some being told about for John Morgan. Cad Bean and Remix Diane for Ryan Costello. Annie Walker for Thomas Rogers and Neo Renover for Martin Liedham. So only about three trainers in this then with six runners. And a couple got two each. And... Well, there's me. In an aerial sweep of the course, and away we go. And they're running in different colours as well, my two. And away they go, and it is those two that are in the lead. Alive and kicking, and Neo run over. Ryan Costello, the other trainer that's got two, and remix Diane is in third, with his second one, Cad Bean, in fifth, and Sunbeam Tower for John Morgan between the two. And Thomas Rogers has got that Rover's return, landlady Annie Walker at the back. And they're all safely over the first then, and racing down towards the second, and Neo ran over. He's over in the lead from Alive and Kicking second. And then Sunbeam Talbot third. And you can have exciting races with small fields. Just a couple of races ago. And a seven runner thriller. And three formers and a photo finish in that one. So if this one lives up to that one, we'll all be doing okay as we get to number four. And the leading pair virtually matching strides. Neo ran over on the near side in the old red room colours. And Alive and Kicking in the purple and white stripes past the winning post then with a couple of circuits still to go Sunbeam Talbot in third and then back in fourth is Remix Diana and then a little bit of a gap back to Cad Bean and Annie Walker Annie Walker's definitely back from last season and goes away around so it's Neo run over already a winner once this season in front from Alive and Kick in second and Sunbeam Talbot is in third from the John Morgan stable they want to win or fall over don't they John Morgan's We'll see what happens with that one today. And then remix Diane and Cad Bean from the Ryan Costello yard that seems to have found some sort of magic potion in the last few weeks. And they're finishing tailed off last at the start of the season. And now he's winning every other race. Or at least he was last week. As we have a look at the crowd. And over the sixth they go. That was a ditch. And they're all safely over that one with Neo run over on the inside of a line and kicking. Gap of about two and a half to three lengths then to Sunbeam Talbot and Remix Diane then a gap of another few lengths back to Cat Bean and then Annie Walker the back marker obviously struggling because the pub's not open and having to do a bit of racing to pay the rent but it's alive and kicking and Neo run over who are disputing the lead as they get to this ditch and they're all safely over that Annie Walker a little bit slow at the back a bit too much of Betty's up pop but anyway it's Neo run over and alive and kicking second. You'd think I'll watch that program, wouldn't you? I don't know things about it. It's just like stuff was donkish years ago. I remember seeing it then. I haven't seen it for years. Don't even know if any of those people are still in it. I presume they must be all dead now. It was donkish years ago. Anyway, back to the racing. The old run over's in the lead. With alive and kicking second. And Sunbeam Talbot is in third. Then comes Cad Bean and remix Diane. And Annie Walker is the back marker. So the order's been pretty much the same throughout so far and both of these two in front usually front run and they're sharing the spoils today as they've got over that one whether it's going to do them any good or not remains to be seen they might be doing each other in not getting that clear lead but both of them have had a tendency this season to just drop away in the final two or three furlongs Neo ran over managed to steal a hunt to chase the other week because the others just couldn't catch her up but uh, this one might be a little bit different they are pretty well strung out now and they come to this next one and over that one they go and good jump there by remix Diane but it's Neo Renova has now gone too clear of the grey alive and kicking in second gap of four lengths then back to Sunbeam Talbot Cad Bean and remix Diane and then another couple of lengths back to Annie Walker as they pass the stand of the winning post and swing out now on their final circuit of this Roland Merrick handicap chase and Neo Renova He's in front. Alive and kicking his second. This would be a sort of a gold cup trial in real life. I think it's probably more of a fox hunter's trial in this SO7 world. But Neo ran over. He's in the lead. With Alive and kicking second. And a gap of three then back to Cad Beam and Sunbeam Talbot. And then remix Diane and Annie Walker as they get over number 14. And they're all jumping okay at the moment. Less than a mile to race then now as they get to this next ditch. And all oh, there's a fall of there, Sunbeam Talbot's gone. So 
put the curse on poor John Morgan's horse there. I said earlier, they either win or fall over. And it's all been told, but I'm afraid for John has done the latter, but it's Neo run over, still in the lead. Getting over number 17, alive and kicking over it in second. Get back to Cadbean and remix Diane, and then finally Annie Walker. As they race down now into the final five and a half furlongs. A good jump over that one from the leading pair. Annie Walker jumps it one at the back as well. Remix Diane is beginning to struggle, but Cadbean is running on to try and get close to the two leaders. But it's Neo Ranover who's still in front. Neo Ranover then in the lead from Alive and Kick in second. Then Cadbean, Annie Walker is starting to eat the ground up in fourth and remix Diane is the only one I would say is totally out of it and they swing towards home then now and Neo run over a live kicking Cadbean now gets into overdrive Annie Walker back in fourth has suddenly slowed down a little bit the race is wide open Neo run over still being pushed along in the lead alive and kicking is trying to close in second they come down towards the 19th and over that one they go alive and kicking run straight through it that could have put pain to that one's chance there's three more fences to take Annie Walker moves into third Neo run over comes to the third last gets over it nicely in the lead and alive and kicking's a faller alive and kicking's gone so suddenly there's only four left and Neo run over is six lengths clear of Annie Walker Neo run over over the second last gets over it nicely Annie Walker's over it in second Cadbean is third Neo run over looking like she's only got to jump the last to take the roll of Merrick she comes to it she pops over it she gets away from it well Annie Walker's trying to close Annie Walker's trying to call last orders but Neo run over is saying time is up and Neo run over comes towards the line and takes it from Annie Walker in second Cadbean a distant third and remix Diane an even more distant fourth so it's Still got a bit of drama again, even though there were only half a dozen winners or so. And it was a pillar to post win for Neo Branover for the second time this season. And once again, I think it's more to do with the fact that they just couldn't catch her, rather than the fact that she's so much better than the rest of them. So Neo Branover takes it then. And I'll take a full look at the list of connections. And... Neo Branova the winner for Martin Leadham and Annie Walker second for Thomas Rogers. Cadbean was third for Ryan Costello who also took fourth with remix Diane.